Hey guys, Chris Cards here, coming at you with another video. This time, I was driving by this place, and I realized there is no other Blockbuster in the entire world. This is it. Hey guys, out in front of the last Blockbuster in the world. It was a Pacific video up until 2000, and then Blockbuster came in and said, hey, let's make this a Blockbuster, let's partner up, and Pacific video uh, was made an offer they couldn't refuse, so they said, sure, let's do this. Otherwise, Blockbuster would have just probably opened up a store next door and drove them out of business anyway, so that's capitalism for you. But here we are, um, just driving by this, and I'm like, holy cow, this is the last Blockbuster, so let's check this out. Fifteen years ago, there was still 9,000 Blockbusters. They were down to just a dozen in 2017. The last one in the U.S. closed August of 2018. The second to last one in the world closed in Perth, Australia, March 31st, 2019. In fact, on their last day of business, they called this Blockbuster and wished them luck. So that's it. Here we are in Bend, Oregon. This is the last one standing. And yes, for those wondering, it does smell the same. Sort of a mixture of popcorn and plastic. There's some new releases here on the wall. There's the family, 99 cent section. Everything's still categorized. Kids, family, drama, etc., etc. New releases against the wall. And just basically, it hasn't been that long. You guys probably remember what this looks like. The, the smell, of course, is pretty unique. So we're heading towards the middle of the store here. There's sort of a shrine over there. We'll check that out in a bit. Here is some movie memorabilia from Russell Crowe. For those that haven't seen it, this is from Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. They did a bit last year where they bought a bunch of random Russell Crowe auction stuff and sent it to the last blockbuster in Anchorage, Alaska. I'll link that video in the description. The Russell Crowe wore a leather jock strap in the film Cinderella Man. It is famously worth $7,000. But that movie also apparently featured this satin robe and gym shorts. I, I presume it did. I presume it featured them. To be honest, I've never seen Cinderella Man, despite now owning thousands of dollars worth of props. And here is the robe from Cinderella Man, and you see Russell Crowe wrote a short description of the item, plus he signed it. Now his signature, he only just signs his first name, Russell, two S's, two L's. And that's not all. Because we also got this hood that he wore in 2010's Robin Hood. And here is the hood from that movie. What else we got? Well, do you have one of Russell Crowe's iconic movie costumes? You know, something uh, from the movie Gladiator? Well, no, but only because we got something even better. The vest he wore in Les Miserables. Here is the vest he wore in Les Mis. I didn't even know uh, he was in Les Mis. Of course, I also didn't know he was in this next movie. Director's chair from the film American Gangster, a movie I'd completely forgotten he was in. But he obviously remembered because he not only took the back from his chair, he took the one from Denzel Washington's as well, which obviously we also bought. Now, uh, by the way, Denzel Washington's And there they are, all the weird things from Russell Crowe's auction of movie memorabilia. So this display is a unique part of the last blockbuster, something you can't see anywhere the else. The point here is, to the manager of the only remaining blockbuster in Anchorage, Alaska, at 5600 DeBar Road, number five, all of this shit is yours. Just call us in the next 48 hours and we will send it to you. <laughs> and that, folks, is how this blockbuster got a bunch of random stuff. When the Anchorage, Alaska blockbuster closed, they sent all of their stuff down to the Bend, Oregon blockbuster, except the jock strap is missing, although it did appear on another episode of Last Week Tonight, so apparently they got it back somehow. Here is the merch they are selling in the store, and after asking the employees, they do sell quite a bit of it. And let's circle back to that shrine that was in the back of the store. Here is some newspaper clippings. There's the photo from the episode of Last Week Tonight. There's a jean jacket from a giveaway from the 90s, according to that letter right there, and a guest book. We got people from Italy on there, all over the country, all over the world, signing their guest book. Nice display they have in the back of the store. Some pretty cool stuff there. Old advertising material. Newspaper clippings, as I said. Let's go ahead and... There we go. 
Stranger Things poster, odd choice considering Netflix was part of the downfall of Blockbuster, although Blockbuster, they did have their chance to buy Netflix and they passed, so they really signed their own death warrant there. Now there is no more corporate Blockbuster, this store is on its own. So you might be asking yourself the same question I asked myself, where do they get all these movies from? The manager goes to big box stores, so I'm assuming that's Costco and Walmart, to buy DVDs there. Now you're not supposed to buy retail DVDs and rent them out, that is against the law, but it's such an antiquated method. I don't think anyone is going to have a problem with it. So here we are, very popular tourist destination, lots of photos outside this blockbuster, lots of selfies. Even the kids getting involved. I'm pretty sure some of these kids have never been in a blockbuster before and they probably have no idea why their parents are dragging them to one. But there they are, nonetheless in front of the, t the blockbuster ticket, so which was once a thriving business, has now become pop culture. That's pretty much what Blockbuster has been relegated to. All right, guys, just got back into the car after visiting the last Blockbuster in the entire world, and um, it was pretty much as I expected. It hasn't changed much. Um, they did have that uh, memorabilia section from uh, the Late Show, which was pretty funny, so. Did walk away with some stickers, a couple dollars a piece, worth every penny. I did have to rent a movie because I needed one of those. What movie was it? Field of Dreams, of course. I'm sorry, I couldn't find Major League. And there you have it, guys. My quick look at the last blockbuster in the world. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what your thoughts and uh, memories of blockbuster were. And we'll have a little bit of dialogue, have a little chit chat, a little back and forth. Um, I remember spending more time than necessary in there to picking out one or two videos so it's just nice to browse and look at everything and maybe discover something you've never seen before so before mindlessly browsing netflix queues and trying to find something interesting to watch we used to walk the aisles of blockbuster and check out their entire selection which was incredible anything you could think of they had it now you can't do that anymore different world we live in guys is it better i don't know but I was glad to take one more trip down memory lane, and I am glad to have taken you guys with me. I hope you liked the video. Thanks a lot for watching.